Hi, it's Brenda with Foxy's Creations, and this is part four of the Artsology July Design Team Project. And this is the last part. We just have some finishing up embellishments to do for inside the journal, lace on the pages, um, and then something I'm going to do with the tabs on the tags so we don't add any bulk. The journal was one signature in the last video. Since then, it has become two signatures because it was too fluffy. It's still fluffy, but it's easier to manage with it being two signatures. So, let's go on and get busy making some embellishments. So, I have decided that Granny, my grandmother, or the Granny in the book, she was a quilter, as we know. And she won some blue ribbons for her quilts. So, I think we're going to just make some big journaling cards. To go in here that she would have won her first prize for. So that's what I'm looking at, and then it's gonna it's got an, a place already to go in the journal. And so there's gonna be three of these, plus I made an extra one just as like a little tag. That's an event for the Aniana Craft Fair quilting class. It was in Aniana, Alabama, and the date was October the 29th of 1973. I don't know what day of the week that's on. I just threw some dates down. And so this one's just going to be a tag we can put in there. She taught that class. Now, these are all real things. Um, the dates are not the correct dates, but these are real events. So I'm going to go in and we're going to just glue this down. And, you know, I'm going to try the clear, ta I got clear tacky glue, and I'm going to try it today. If I can get it to come out of this little bitty bottle. It is just not. Okay, where's the tacky glue bottle? The clear tacky glue. We'll use that instead. Make sure it's not gummed up. It's not. And I have already inked the pages on these. I went on and got them printed out. Cut everything out. Got them inked. Because y'all don't want to see me do all that stuff. So. I figured I would save us a little bit of time on that. And now I had it coming out of that little bottle. That little bottle may just be clogged a little bit. So we'll put her little first prize thing over here. And the information for the event down at the bottom. And this could very easily have been left a tag. Or a pocket rather. But I didn't want to add any more bulk by adding another pocket. So this is just going to be the event information. And these can't be event. Thing, this little tag. Tag event ticket came in the kit now the ones in the kit came this size I blew them up to the bigger size and then I just cut them out jaggedy so there's that it's a picture of her quilt first prize and let me see where does it go in our book move our glue cap There's an envelope. It goes in this envelope right here. Like that. Oh, y'all can't see. Like that. 
and then that just folds down and we can put a paper clip or something if we want and then the next one we're just going to flip over till we find it thought there was a second well we'll just keep going there's two more of them to make here's one it's the card for that pocket so we're just going to move the book out of the way oh where's the blue ticket uh oh there it is I can't I can't really skew them because I made this to where it okay this one has to be cut a little bit shorter so Y'all are going to get to see this jaggedy stuff going on. So I'm just going to drag it up the edge a little bit. Because these are old. And I'm going to cut some down on the top. I'll re-ink it. So I don't want it to be squared off at all. Okay, is that better? It's still too big. So I'm going to take some more off over here. take off a little bit more I can't really take any off over here because of the date and event thing but I can still take off a little over here so we will a little tiny bit more Okay, I like that much better. So now, let's find my inking brush. Hmm. Well, y'all, I just had... Oh, there it is. I was going to say I've just had it. So... And I had a scratch sheet of paper. And here we go. Let's see, let me get this stuff out of the way. And then once we're through with this, there'll be a walkthrough video for this journal. Because this journal is about finished. I just had some internet issues. I had a week where I was at jury duty. And that was this past week. That'll mess you all up. Oops. Don't glue that down first. This goes first. I'm not real sure how I feel about the clear khaki glue, y'all. I saw it and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Just not sure how I feel about it yet. And this is a page from the kit. It was actually um, one of the cards in the kit. To fit in the envelopes. It's supposed to be a journaling card. So I am using it as the background for grandmother's prize information. Where she won her prizes for her quilts. 
And this one was the Heart of Dixie Quilt Show in Gadsden, Alabama, July 15th to 16th of 1968. She made this chevron quilt out of old bedding materials. You know, when you get, you know, buy new sheets, you don't throw your old sheets away for making quilts. You save them. So that's what she did. And she turned them into quilt fabric. And then she made her chevron quilt from her old sheets. And she won first place for that. And that's going to go right over here. Oh, let me show you. Into this envelope. Like that. And now we got to find our third one. Here is the third one. Where does it go? I'm trying to figure out where it goes. I think I was going to put it behind this pocket. Which is, that's a good spot. Just looking through. Yeah, that'll work. Or, oh, I, you know, yeah, we'll put it there. Back to where it was going to go. Well, let's look in this other one. And I'm just flipping through both signatures trying to figure out where do I want to put it. I do want that third one. And we have that one we can put somewhere. So, that's what I'm looking to see. Making sure all the, there's some pockets on the sides of some pages. And I want to make sure that they have cards in them. That one does. Hmm. This I'm going to put in this belly band with this other thing. So we've got that took care of. Back to the pocket. That pocket has a card in it. And this pocket is empty. So uh, that's why it was there. It goes in the pocket. So now that we know where it's going to go, we can fix it right on up. This one has to be trimmed as well. Let me get across the top. I am off camera, guys. I am so sorry. So, I hope y'all have had a good weekend. I go and get Livy. Let's see. This will go up on Sunday. So, by the time this goes up, I'll be on my way to get my niece, Livy. She's going to be here for a week. She's going to be my assistant. We have projects planned, or I do, um, to do with her. But when I'm on live, she's going to be my assistant. She may ask questions and that kind of thing. Oh, that looks cool. Let's get our scrap paper back and re-ink. I do like these little brushes. I got these on AliExpress. And I like these for blending inks and whatnot. I'm going to order some more of them. The handle's kind of weak, you guys, right here. I mean, you can see that. That's why I'm holding it where I'm holding it. Fingers wrapped around here, holding this steady. But I like them for blending. Okay, so there's that one ready to go. Pulls up my ink pad now. Well, I'm going to need it again when I get to the paper clips. Now, I made paper clips. Y'all have seen me make paper clips on my channel. I will explain how I made them. Again, I put the glue on the wrong piece first. 
So we'll just put it up there and we'll glue this. And I inked the back of this before I realized I'm gluing it down. I can't. I don't need the back of it to be inked. Not if I'm just going to glue it down. We do have more Christmas in July videos coming. I think, though, that that will be a live video. So... And I found the images of the quilts online, um, free. I went to pixabay.com and downloaded the images from the internet. Oh, I almost put that on there upside down. That would not have been good. Copyright free images from Pixabay for my quilts. Okay. And these were on Pinterest free. I just typed in blue ribbon. And then they were really gigantic, so I sh printed more of them to a page to shrink them down. Well, I'll give this glue this. It's very sticky. We're just going to put, we'll put this one on this side. There we go. And so there's that card. And you can journal on the back. I made them more that all of them are journalable on the back. And we'll just put this in its little envelope. And it should fit because I cut them down first. Yep. Perfect fit. Okay. So now, these are my paper clips. What I did, I had pieces of the, the paper left over. I was going to say material. Left over. So what I did was I took the paper clip. So let's see, I gotta find something I'm not using. I have scrappages. Okay, so we'll go with just one of these. So what I did, because you're not gonna see it at all. So I took this and I folded it. Let's see, we gotta get a paper clip, guys. Okay, there we go. We got one loose one. Okay. So I just took it and I folded it. And it doesn't matter how you fold it. And then I stuck it on the paper clip like this. And then I glued like this piece here. And I could have, I, you could glue it this way as well. And that would slide, you know, it would be a slidey sideways one. This is going to go against your paper, so you're really not going to see it. Now, on these, I used one of the quilt patterns to make these paper clips. But you could definitely do it like this. So, what I would do in this case, I would run glue. All down through here. Now, the only problem with this is it is going to stick off our page. Let's redo that. Because how I was gluing it, what was going to happen, this, all of this would have stuck off the page. Which, if you were looking to make a tab for your page, would be perfect. But I'm not wanting to do that. So, now I'm just going to go in here and just snip and trim this up. That little underlayment piece.
And then once that dries, we have another paper clip. A hidden one, but I still see that we have some trimmage to do. There we go. So I don't think we're going to need that one, but if we do, I'm going to set it aside. Now, for this, these also came in the kit. I glued two together, poked the hole at the top. These will also slide over a page and act as a paper clip. So we have those. In the event that I want to make another one, I have two more. Well, we'll go on and do it. And I am only going to glue the top portion. And that went just a little bit too far. And then I'll poke a hole in that one. Or not, because I had plans for not having to put anything in the holes. And there we go. Now we have to set that aside to dry. Okay. So we had things we needed to paper clip in our journal. And we had things. We have plenty of tags and stuff that we need to put tabs on. So let's go through the journal. And let's look for those kind of things. So here's a tag. This was my plan for the tag. I want them cut out like three centimeter. Well, yeah, we may adjust that after the first one. Now, these are already put double-sided tape on. So, here's what I was thinking. Just making little tabs like that from this homemade washi. I downloaded the printable from artymaze.com. It is a free printable. I just downloaded it and printed it out and then put the washi or not washi, the double-sided tape on the back of it, and that is crooked. And so I'm just going to, this one may just have to be crooked, because, yeah. And now we have these little tabs on our tags, and that's what I think I'm going to do. It's not going to add a lot of bulk. So we'll go looking for tags while we're going through. Here's another little tag. And that's just some ephemera, okay. And I think three was a good mark to cut it. And then we'll just peel it off. Line it up. Squeeze it together. Put that back in its little pocket. I think those are cute. That has a card in it. And that's an empty pocket. Huh. We may let it stay an empty pocket. Well, no, we don't have to. I found a tag. Will that go in there? It does. So, let's just take a piece of our homemade washi tape. And we're just going to peel it off again. And I'm off camera because I'm sitting too far back. That's crooked. And there we go. Put that in its little pocket. See what else we got. I don't know if we're going to paper clip that closed or not. So we're going to hold off. Our zipper pocket. That is not a tuck. We have another tag right here. I'm scooting closer so I can stay on camera. I'm still off camera. 
and then we're going to just put that there, fold it over, squish it together, and there we go. And it was in that pocket. That has a card, another tag. So this is an idea, you guys. You can do this with uh, any really, any kind of edging or pretty little pattern. Not to add bulk to the journal. And you still have a decoration on your tags. But we didn't add hardly any bulk. We're not stapling it. We're just double-sided taping it and putting it in the pocket. And we have this one. And then that's just a journaling card. I'm probably going to add the waist to the edge of the pages um, off camera right before I do the walkthrough. Because y'all have all seen the edge pages. There's going to be 11 pages of lace total, I think, from what I counted. And I am just going to edge it. I'll show you what lace I'm going to use to edge it. This journal is a rather chunky monkey, fluffy puffy. So... I don't want to add a lot more. Now this gets paper clipped in. So let's get one of our paper clips. And I think I want to paper clip it this way. Yeah, I know I didn't glue that down. Okay, come on. It is catching here. So let's glue this little flappy closed. So it's, that's where it was catching, you guys, where I folded it over. I'm just going to glue it closed. And see if we have one that's not going to do that. That one's acting like it's glued down. Well, it was glued down. There we go. It's not now. There. So that's how that's going to be paper clipped on with a little fabric piece. And yes, you see the paper clip on that side. I'm not worried about that. We have another little tag. Grab another piece of our faux washi tape. This time I think I'm going to come from the end because we haven't been getting these last like 10 and 11 numbers. We keep stopping at 9. And that wasn't straight, so I before I pressed it together, I lifted it up. Okay, we have another little tag right here. I've often wondered why we all put ties at the top of our tags. I think some of it is because... When you buy a garment or anything with a tag on it, it's usually tied on there or attached somehow. I don't know if the other part of it isn't so much everybody does it, therefore we do it. But it, it does add bulk or can add bulk to a journal. So I am trying to come up with other ways of decorating the ends of my tags without adding the bulk in a journal. And hubby is coughing. And he does that sometimes at night. So he's okay, y'all. Okay, and we're going to put that tag in that pocket. This is a little flip out with a pocket over here with a journaling card in it. And this tag, we don't need to put a tab on, but these we do. Again, I'm going to come back from this end. And 
suggest. Flip it over, and I did line the back of these, so it's helpful when lining these up, because I can line it up with the line so it's not crooked. And get this one, and I'm going to put one of these smaller pieces that we have left over on here. And over here we have this card or tag. I think we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put one of the smaller ones or shorter ones. Like that. And it still has a little tab on it. This doesn't need one, but this one does. And just flip it over and put it back in its pocket. I do want to put one on here as well. Even though there's not like a little mark. And now we can put it back in its little pocket. Drop my little piece of tape. Oh, come on. I'm trying to see what's going on on my computer. Make sure I'm in frame and it wouldn't let me do it. There we go. Okay. And then... Well, I thought we had more paper clipped and stuff, but we have a tag right here. So we're going to cut some more of this off. And y'all, wait till you see the cover. I've been keeping the cover kind of hidden away. Because the cover is very special. Okay. I really thought I had more paper clipped in things. Here's another tags. There we go. Just a matter of finding the edge. And just put that on there. Flip it over. Bend it. And squash it. Squashing is a technical term. And then we have this tag. Where's the edge? There it is. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna just put it right there. And we have this little tag. I do have more of this I can cut apart if I need to, and I may. I thought that was enough little strips. If I can't get this to peel. Where is the edge? It's right there. There we go. And put these back in that tuck spot. There's a paper clip item. Here's a tag, but I don't think we're going to put a tab on it. Here's one, but we need to let's go on and get this paper clipped in. Did I do it? That was, how did I do with it? Oh, y'all. I think I know what I meant to do. It is supposed to go between those papers. No, it's not. <clears throat> it goes like that. Gotta get this tag. Let me find the other parts of my washi tape. So I'm just trimming it. the white edges off. Okay. Pull out our little tag. And that got paper clipped in. And that has a pocket with an ephemera in it. And then it's also a flip. And we have this tag. And I have already gotten my Artsology Design Team Kit for next month. And it is awesome, you guys, for the month of August. And excited. Already coming up with things to do. And we're not going to put one on this. Well, we could put one and just not let it stick out very far. So, to cover up those little where you're supposed to poke the whole thing. But we don't have room for a tab tab like we've been doing. So this one's going to be just a little closer in. Still a little tiny tab. Put it back in its little pocket. And it's fine. Or maybe it's fine. And we have one more right here. In the back pocket of the journal. Okay.
and there we have that. Let's go back through and make sure about the paper clips. Oh, we missed two tags in the front pocket. So this didn't take very long. Not long at all. Okay, so let's just do a flip through real fast. Make sure we didn't miss any tags or any paper clipped items. Now, if we choose to paper clip this shut, we can do that now. So I'm just looking through. That got paper clipped. That's a flip with a pocket or a zipper pocket, a tag in a tuck spot, plenty of things to journal and write on. And let's paper clip this together. And there's a pocket. Now, here's where if you wanted to add one of these, you know, you could just paper clip it here to this pocket. It's going to slide on, but it's going to stick up. So that's the only problem is it's going to stick out. So... That might be something you want to put at the top of a page, like this. If I had come up closer with the glue, definitely, I'm not going to use these for that reason. I don't want them to stick out. But you could have, I could have not brought the glue down so far. How's this one? Same way. Just not brought the glue down as far, and it would have stuck there. So, but that's how those work, and they work really well. Um, but I think we don't need any more paper clips. We don't. And that's a flip out with a pocket. No. So that is our journal. I'm not going to show you the front of the cover. i got to put the lace in it. I'm going to do that off camera. And then there will be a walkthrough. And we have the bonus item journal. Where did it go? Grandma had the bonus where she, you know, kept up with all the pictures of there's her needle kit, and then she kept up with the pictures of her prized quilts. And so, this is a little bonus journal that will be included with this journal. Made from pages in the kit as well. So, that's it for this video. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all have a great day. Hugs and love. Bye, everybody.